Hey dudes, this is a walkthrough of my current neighborhood. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm in Hoboken right now. This part I'm pretty familiar with. This is like the hospital, so like... If I ever overdose on dark chocolate, this is where I go. Is this real life? It's GTA 6. I'm giving you a beta preview, guys. I'm gonna do a test, guys. I'm gonna run to like, let's say the middle of this block. Let me know how the video is. How's it going? Can you hear me? Oh, wow. Nope. Well, that, uh, I need to tighten this thing up a little bit. Ugh, there we go. Got speed. I don't call me Swift Door for nothing. I know where I want to go. Maybe I'll grab a snack at the, uh, at the supermarket. Do you think they'll bitch at me for having, like, a camera on my shoulder? Like, they might. I mean, I'm just waiting to be, for the police to question me. I'm just trying to be polite in terms of just like, you know, who I, uh, who I point this thing at. Man, those, those guys got the bikes. I need a bike. I cover a lot of ground real fast. Oh, whoa, what is this? Oh, shit. Is this a track I can run on? Holy shit, dudes. Dudes, I've been looking for something like this. This is kind of far, but... Welcome to your pop-up park. This is a shared public space provided for your enjoyment and recreation. We want you to have fun and a safe time. Use all park amenities safely and your own risk. Wow, dudes, so one thing I've been, always been looking for is like a place just to kind of like run. And this is basically a track. This is awesome. Oh my god, too bad it's just so far from me. Dudes, this is great. Holy shit. I did not know I had one of these over here. A pop-up park implies that it's, like, temporary, though, right? Oh, wow, those dogs are huge. No, this can't be a pop-up park. Look at these. These trees are meant to, like, meant to grow. Pop-up park. I don't know. Pop-up park for years? Oh, shit. Dudes! There's a goddamn tennis court over here? What the fuck? Dudes, I love tennis. I love ping-pong. But I also love tennis. I'm terrible at it, but oh man, that is awesome. Chess on the stream. I don't even know how to play chess. I could learn, I guess, but like, it's never interested me, I guess. You know who can play chess really well? Hutch. Man. It's a goddamn tennis court. What the frick? Is this the rich part of town or something? What, like, I feel like I've been missing out. But dudes, this is cool. I did not realize this was like a thing. Oh, what's this over here? Over in the corner is like some kind of exercise machine. All right, I'll put my coffee down. It's so weird to have this exercise machine in the middle of nowhere. Elliptical, ages 13 and up. All right. Oh, what the hell? Uh, this is a weird decision. I feel like if someone had this in their home, was like, yeah, dudes, I don't need this anymore. We'll just donate it to the park. Got its own goddamn corner. Yep. Well, anyway, that was a good workout. This is not me. I know. I know. Me and exercise don't get together. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. This seems really quiet. Got your... I mean, why are these kids even out here? Do they not have video games? Like, what's going on? Why are they not at their computers? Should you follow your dream and detail cars for a living? Uh, if you're good at it. But like, following your dream doesn't mean be stupid, right? It means get an education, have a backup plan, have a real way to make money while you work in your passion. And as you grow your passion project, keep on going until like, it makes financial sense to do that full time. Don't just throw everything away and like, try and, I don't know, make your dream work. It sounds very romantic where like, you know, you're putting everything on the line to make it work and you hear the success stories and that gets you excited. But there for every one success story, I think there's like a hundred success like stories of people who've like put everything on the line and and screwed up. So so be smart about it. Uh let's see. Do I have a reason to go inside the supermarket? 
All right, let's just go for it. Let's see if I get yelled at or not. You know what would help if I had like a headset? And it looked like I was just talking like on my headset to the phone. Oh man, desserts. I need to stay away from here. In reality, I can't buy any of this stuff. I'm not gonna like, oh, Klondike's. I also like the, the cones. Buy them all? No, 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 no. I weighed myself yesterday. 171 pounds. 171 pounds. I'm I'm 5'7. I'm I'm technically overweight. Ooh, orange bars. Alright, let's go find a restaurant, dudes. I'm starving. Too lazy to make pasta. But I do need to have some Italian. I think that's the plan. Whenever I'm in a supermarket, I'm always like, should I buy like some lottery tickets? Maybe I'll buy a quick lottery ticket now. That might be kind of fun. Let's do that. So at the end of this area over here is like a lottery ticket vending machine. About like a $5 scratch off and scratch it off. Be fun. I think I've got a coin on me. Scratch it. Yes. Oh, all right. Diamonds and dollars. I don't endorse gambling. Real money. Gamble your swift bucks. Google glasses? No. Hopefully the quality looks pretty good. All right, here we go. Crisp 10. I wouldn't spend 10 on this, I'm gonna spend five. All right. All right, $10. This machine does not give change. What the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck, I should have read that. This machine does not give change. Well, I guess I'm going, uh... What do you think? $1 million spectacular, $10 bonus. Go for $10 bonus. Oh shit, this is a lot bigger than it looked. All right, we got it. In the same row across, your number matches the winning number, win prize is shown. So this number has to match this number. All right, I've only got one, two, three, six more tries. I know, me, this is an angle. 13. 38. 36. Oh shit, dudes. Oh shit. Oh shit, dudes. Got a match. Two. 31. All right. So we got. We have one match. 36. How much do you guys think I won? Hang on. What are the chances? Do they show the tan chances on here? When you win 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, 200, 500, see any New Jersey lottery retailer selling instant game tickets for payment. Actually, I'll probably redeem it here. I should probably do that. I don't think you admit, I don't think you win a dollar. The most, actually, there's no, there's no dollar prize. The least you can win is $10. I've made my money back, dudes. I made it back. I bet it's $10. Oh, bonus spot. Reveal two identical prize amounts when that amounts. All right, so the bonus spot didn't work. All right, let's see, a free ticket? I hope not. Free ticket will be bullshit. And? Yep, $10. Uh, where the hell do I go to turn in this ten dollars? Customer service desk. All right, let's go. Let's go turn it on. Otherwise, I'll never do it. In and out. Buy another lottery ticket? No, dudes. I think I'm lucky. Like, that I got my my money back. Oh, there we go. Customer service. Are we all being rickrolled? I think we are. Got a big winner over here, ten dollars. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, that's me the rest of the time. Great, thank you very much. Have a good day. Big win, guys. Big win. Look at that. Uh, I think I gotta go around the other way. Unless, all right. I think, mean, eh, whatever. Let me not be a hooligan. Try to exit out of like the doors to come inside. Now I've got $5 to buy a $5 ticket. No, dudes. 
Sometimes you just gotta know when the universe wants you to stop gambling. All right, we're gonna try and go, uh, uh, I'm gonna stop by a place called Fior. And now those guys, it's like a, it's like a, a traditional Italian, like, deli. And they sell the best fresh mozzarella I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot of fresh mozzarella dudes. I'm like, I'm a spoiled brat, like for real. And so I've had a lot of like, you know, nice things, but this place has the best fresh mozzarella on that I've ever had. Now the problem is, not problem, but like, it's traditionally like Italian run. And so, you know, if I go in there with this camera on my shoulder, these, will, these dudes will not mind going like, is that live? Get the fuck out. So, I'll, I'll have to play it by ear. When I pass by someone who looks at me, I, I feel like I just have to go like silent for a second to be like, nothing going on over here, guys. Nope, just a, just a weird camera on my shoulder, guys. What custom games? The custom game I'm playing now is, let's find some food someplace where I won't get like yelled at for having a camera. This looks busted up. I don't know, if I were to open up a store, I think it would have to be like a sandwiches, pizza, or, I don't know, probably sandwiches. I'm pretty obsessed. Sandwiches has got to be good. I was totally operated at a loss, too. I'm just terrible at that stuff. I can't eat the sandwich, then? I can eat the sandwich. So sandwiches? I don't think I would call it that. I think I would call it... I'd call it pretty good sandwiches. Not world's best sandwiches, not not great sandwiches. I'd call it pretty good sandwiches. So you set low expectations, but decent expectations, then you go in and you have a great sandwich and you're like, wow, this isn't pretty good. You should call this place great. I'd be like, that's a good idea. In reality, it was the plan the entire time. Under promise, over deliver. Words to live by. All right, let's see if this place is open or not. I'm guessing it's closed, but maybe I'll be wrong. All right, dudes, here's the protocol. If I go in, my phone goes away. I'm just going to order my stuff, and I'll walk out. It's right there. You see the sign? Fjords. I don't see anyone walking in or out. I think it's closed. Famous for our mozzarella is what the sign says. And for good reason. Established 19, 1913. Actually, a lot of parking here. Oh no, looks uh looks open. Alright, let's do it. Great, thank you very much. Have a great day. You too? Napoli's is a restaurant, yep. They've got two locations. The one I'm at is uh What street is this? Clinton Street, I think. They got like a, a real oven back there, too. Yeah, like a, a brick oven. It looks really nice. I also have half a pound of fresh mozzarella in my pocket, by the way, from the last place we went to. Oh, thank you. I'll be right out with some bread, too. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Meantime, look at that. I like when it's like pre mixed for you. Like, sometimes you get a spaghetti, you just put the sauce on top of it and mix it yourself. I'm very messy, I get it all over myself. This is like good to go. I have so much sauce in my phone right sure after this. One day I'll learn how to eat spaghetti without making a big mess. Check it out. 
down. All right, guys. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some pretentious shit right now. Basically, all right. Quality looks a lot better now. That's good. Ah, if it's still open. Basically, I'm gonna buy myself like a ten dollar bottle of watermelon juice. It's been. I've I've tried like ten times. I just want to try it out. But this is gonna be the time I do it. Last time I came in here, I had like didn't have my wallet on me. Here we go. No. Strawberry, watermelon, all out. Shit, every single time. No watermelon. Ugh. Fuck. Every single time. The one time they did have it, I just didn't have my fucking wallet on me. No way. God damn it. Every time, dudes. I don't know what it is. Like, that's the only one they are ever sold out of. Goddamn watermelon juice, dudes. I could never win. I could never win. I just want... I just want watermelon juice. What time is it? 4.30? I don't know. Do you guys want to see, uh... Carlos Bakery? It's actually, like, kind of along the way. Turning point for a snack? Yeah. What did I say about not eating a dessert? There it is. Yes, I'm like right in the street. Carlos Bake Job. I knew, I know, Hoboken like the back of my hand, baby. So let's go in there. What to get? What to get? Hi, right, good. I thought I was get the uh, strawberry shortcake. Anything else? Uh, nope, that'll be it. Your name? Joe. Yep. Thank you very much. Looks good. Maple leaf cookies. It's diabetic heaven. Dudes, check this out. It got really busy really fast. Holy shit. We got lucky. Got super lucky. What's your Twitch call? Uh, Swift or. Nice to meet you, man. Want to say hi to chat? It's live. There we go. There we go. You guys have Twitch names? No? That's cool. All right. Nice meeting you guys. There we go. That's cool. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm a big fan. Oh, that's awesome, man. Oh, hey, that's to meet you, man. You caught me a bit of Hey, nice to meet you, dude. Oh, you are? Oh, cool, dude. This is... Can we get, like, a picture? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Or do you want to wait till you're done? No, no, dude, let me hang out with you guys. I'll get you guys whatever you want. I got it. Yeah, my, my, my pleasure, dudes. Yeah, go wild. Yeah, yeah, dude, absolutely, absolutely. This is like the... You guys want to grab, uh, get in line so we can get, like, whatever. You guys down too easily? Or you, get, you guys want anything? Want to bring something home for, like, mom or something? Like, win some brownie points? Oh, yep, right here. Great, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Oh, oh really? Oh, no, dude. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you very much, dude. You guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. So nice. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's so nice. I just couldn't with the short, like, short game for free. Cool. Yeah, pleasure. Oh, no, go ahead. That's oh, okay. Go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, awesome. Nice meeting you guys. Let me, uh... Shake, do the handshake. There we go. Nice meeting you, dudes. Keep up those videos, man. Yo, dudes, nice meeting you guys. I'll see you around, Hoboken, dudes. All right, All right peace out, dudes. There we go. Let me get out of the way of the shot here. That's so nice. They gave me the goddamn shortcake for free. I wonder if someone else paid for it or something. How did that happen? That is so nice. Look at that. Carlos Bakery, like, on point. Wow. Look at that. Hang on. Does he know where I am? Carlos Bake Shop, Hoboken. It's already famous. That's so nice. Nice to meet you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Safe trip. Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. All right. Oh, so nice. Well, let me turn this around. Ugh. There we go. So, dudes, thanks for joining in. Uh, to the folks who, who I met over there who recognized me. 
Uh, nice meeting you. Thanks for taking the time. You know, making me look good. And uh, I'll see you guys next IRL stream. Dudes, as always, thank you for watching my videos. It really means a lot. I also want to share with you guys that I'm now officially sponsored by Soylent. I drink at least two bottles a day. Just a meal in a bottle. Tastes good. Um, chocolate's my favorite flavor. Coffee, original, close second. Links in the description if you want to check it out and make me look good. And really, I think you're going to love it. Chocolate all day, baby. Thanks for watching, dudes.